Welcome back to the workshop. It is now summer, and so a little hotter out here in the workshop. I've got my air conditioner on and uh, fan running. So we're going to start looking at some of the nifty tools we have here in the workshop, starting with this North Brothers 1545 two-speed uh, ratcheting drill. Um, for my purposes, this is mainly a hand drill, sort of like a larger version of some of the um, egg beater drills that you might see. Uh, Miller Falls makes those, and, as well as some of the others. There's a lot of... Uh, Miller Falls is probably the most well-known amongst collectors, but uh, a lot of companies made those types of uh, drills. So one of the features of this drill is it's got about... Uh, Five selectors here, five positions that the drill can be in. Plus, it's got a two-speed lever over here. Uh, and there's some other things that it does as well, and we'll go into that next. So, looking at the five speeds, uh, start with the bottom one. This is actually the lock position. And this locks the whole thing up. This will not move. And then you can open the chuck and put something in it. Let's use this, this screwdriver bit. Start out with. Put that in there. I got a screw down here that we have started. So the next speed, let's go starting from the top. Next speed is your plane. And this is just, this will go this way or this way. It'll go right or left, tighten, loosen, you know, the whole deal there. Uh, the next one down, you have the left ratchet. So connect it up with the screw. Next one being the right ratchet. And of course, this is where, as you can guess it, you can tighten, but you can't loosen. And we're using a fast speed if you so you get more movement for the turn. If you flip the speed the other direction, you have less movement for the turn. And so that might be helpful if you get in a jam or if you're working with a different kind of wood, maybe a hardwood or something like that. So let's get this back out. Absolutely careful. You could break a bit doing this if you're not careful. So the next one is right. It's it's all right. It, it's uh, it's got a certain name to it. It's kind of hard to re read it on these older ones. But no matter which way you're turning, it is tightening. So it's righty tighty all the way down. And so that would be helpful if you're working on something and you have a limited range. So saying something's here, you can't get a full rotation. You can only do this. And so this is tightening. If you're working on a carriage, uh, back in 1912, there are automobiles, not everybody has them. A lot of people are still using carriages, a horse-drawn carriage. So if you're working on the carriage, you're underneath, and you're trying to get between something, and there's a blockage there, you can do this to tighten in a bolt or something like that without having to use the full rotation. So So, no matter which way I'm going, that thing is tightening. I might have to switch the gear here to loosen this up when you're working on something like that. And that, that makes it a little easier. And so, as you use this, you will find that that, um, that speed transition, the two-prong, is very helpful. 
And so the last one, of course, is lock. And that's how we get the bit out. Additional features of this, in addition to the five uh, selections, the two speed, um, this piece over here, when you're using this, sometimes I can't see using this in this format. For me, I need to have one hand here and one hand on this controlling. I don't have a third hand to be using this thing. Now, if I'm using it in the chest drill format, then yes, there's a need to put this on here to support it against my chest as I'm using it horizontally. So going back to this piece, this actually unscrews. That is necessary to take this off and to take that off. Uh, if you got, got this brand new, maybe from an antique store or something, you don't know where it's been. It could be in a garage or gummed up with something. And so you need to take this completely apart or as part as it can be done to maybe put some oil, a uh, little mineral oil or something like that uh, on, the, on the gears, kind of get it function, clean it, uh, that sort of thing. That's what this is for. Uh, so that's one interesting component of this. The other one being that this part will remove. Uh, there is a twist screw or a twist collar. It's a collar. Twist. Pulls off and inside there might be some drill bits. Mine came with drill bits. Uh, I was lucky. So we have a I don't know if it's a complete set, but we've got some drill bits that came inside of this. And I have taken this thing completely apart when I first got it. And uh, I think there's a picture here of that. Uh, so if you have one of these, you can take it apart and get it back together pretty simply. For those of you who know, and those that don't, you'll learn in a minute here, this thing, the 1545, has another one that came out as well, and that was the 1555. And so, like I said, I got this at an antique store in Selma, North Carolina a couple years ago, and a couple years later, I bought the 1555, which is basically the same thing, except it's a, this is a chest drill. And it's got the chest chat up, uh, pad up here, It'll fit against your uh, chest as you work on whatever you're working on. Let's get that. So this has the same um, five selections. It's got your speed thing. It's got this handle over here with the flathead screwdriver in it. And it works basically the same as the other one. This is a very versatile tool. I've used it once, and that was to drill a hole into this board. You see this board over here. That is where it's kept, and there's a like a bicycle prong for holding up a bicycle in there. To drill for that, I used this guy. I'll be honest with you, uh, when I bought this, this was big enough for most of my needs, and I didn't need anything larger than that. Um, but when I saw this, how can you say no to the chest drill a version of this drill? It's a, they're, they're really a, a good pair to have. Um, and I should say additionally that for storage or for use, this thing actually turns. And so you can use a flathead screwdriver or the thing on the end of this, just like on the other one, uh, and you can turn it. In fact, when I got it, it was turned, and I was trying to figure out how I was going to hang it on the wall, and somebody said, oh, this turns. Okay, I've got it in plain. I want to hold it up pretty vertical, so it is uh, like a drill press because of the weight. So start working that down. Putting a little pressure on it. 
and I'm, I'm working this in the slow speed, so I'm getting more rotation, uh, more rotation of this for the rotation of this. This is not going faster than this. This is actually going faster. So you work that way down. Like I said, I'm in plane, so I can work it back out. Now that didn't get, didn't get very far. We can go a little further than that for the size of the bit and the size of the board. Keep that down. Let's uh, before they do that, let's put this in the right, then in the right ratchet, so it can only go to the right in this speed. So take a break, get it in there. And this really helps when you're getting it. Um, if you not only have obstructions, but also if you want a better torque. Where you're going, sometimes it might be hard to do it from this end. You just want to rest it back here, and then somewhere in here, you really start working it. it. Just all depends on what you're doing. You have a lot more control with this when you're doing the ratcheting. And we went through something there. I think probably a dog hole. I'm hoping. <laughs> hoping we don't have a new hole in the bench. Nope. Went right through dog hole here. So. Uh, that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, and that's a good way of using this and how it can be used in a project. And that is the North Brothers 1545 Ratcheting Drill and 1555 Chest Drill.